Growing up, my mom and dad were public school teachers. And the best three things about teaching for them were June, July, and August. So they'd put the kids in the back of the wood paneled station wagon and off we'd go from South Florida to Washington State. So I have the dubious distinction of having seen the entire continental United States facing backwards in this wood paneled station wagon. And that's where I got my sense of adventure from my parents. I inherited my wanderlust from them. And in 2019, I traveled to my 193rd country, Syria, and that was an end of an epic 30 plus year journey around the world. My most recent adventure after going to 193 was Adventure 194, and that was going to space, which was a lifelong dream of mine. And now here I am in the Pacific with another boundary to push through, which makes those experiences look almost ordinary. This is 195. Jim, welcome aboard. Uh, it's great to have you here on the DSSB pressure drop. We're about to set sail. Uh, we're heading out to the Mariana Trench. It's about 210 nautical miles to get out there. It'll take us a full day. Uh, and once we arrive, we'll be right over the deepest point on the Earth's surface. This is uh, Tim McDonald, who's our uh, chief pilot, and uh, he'll be taking you down to the Eastern Pool. If you can, we can go out and we can have a look at the submersible and get you inside and get you orientated. Can't wait. Let's go. That's good. Let's go. Thanks. Well, Jim, this is our submersible, DSV limiting factor. It's uh, four meters tall and four meters wide, 1.8 meters thick. Each side, we've got five thrusters that help us maneuver on the bottom. At the heart of the vehicle, we've got a titanium pressure hull, which we have two passengers sit in, holds all electronics, controls. Very cool. Very ready? cool. You ready for this? I'm excited. I'm too. Yeah, very soon. It's pretty intense getting in. Then you take a few deep breaths, you acclimate, to inside, it's like, all right, I can do this. This is this is good. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be good, good, uh, good stuff. This is a this is an impressive operation. You know, I had had some understanding of what this would be like before I came, but um, this has far exceeded my expectations. This is a really clean ship. The crew is very accommodating. Uh, professional, the ship and that submersible for being able to send people to the very bottom of the ocean is, is just, it's crazy. To date, there have been 24 people that have been to the moon surface, but there's only been 18 that have been to where we're going. So this is a, a pretty cool once in a lifetime opportunity and certainly pushing through a very extreme boundary. So today we'll be leaving Port of Guam and we'll be going out 210 miles southwest. Things are going to pick up here in just a minute. Uh, the crew is going to be busy and uh, ready, ready to go. Let's do this. We're about to go for a swim at the very deep end of the pool. Uh, I understand that you're interested in diving into the eastern pool of the Challenger Deep nearly 36,000 feet below us. And what we'd like to do over the next uh, half hour or so is to go through the initial planning phase for your dive to make sure that you get to see everything you want to see and we bring you home safe and sound. You know, people ask me why I'm doing these extreme adventures. I was answering by saying that Doing this, being adventurous, living a life of adventure, it's who I am, it's in my DNA. Number two, I, I think that it's important not to let fear define you. So that's why I try to do cool stuff. And number three, as a teacher, I think it's important to explore new and exciting things and to, to teach my students to push through boundaries and that anything is possible. And it's, it's also possible that I'm a little nuts. Probably so.
Swimmer clear, handrails clear, lines are clear, ready to dive. Have a good day. All right, they're off. Have a good dive, Jim and Tim. Be safe. Surface LF, depth 10,925, at bottom, repeat, at bottom. LF, surface, at bottom. Yeah! yeah. yeah. All, right. All right! Bottom of the ocean. ocean. Bottom of the ocean, well man. Done, man. Hey, Welcome we are at the bottom of the Mariana Trench, 36,000 feet, 36, seven miles below. Feet. Now we're gonna go explore some canyons. The hell? Chicken bone. It looks like a chicken bone, doesn't it? But do you see all your little pieces uh, around it? In a uh, big slope, maybe there's been a, a landslide or... Volcanic club. Could be. Oh, there's some uh, bacterial mats. Can you see, on, you might be able to see on your side, there's some yellow tinging on the bottom of the rocks. On like the black facing of the rocks. I'll bring it to your porthole a little bit. <laughs> this is the edge of the Pacific Plate, just crumbling under the force of itself. Yeah. It's nothing like the rest of the Challenger Day. Really? No, man, nothing compared to like anywhere, anything anyone else has been. This is really? Yeah, this is wild. That's really fun. <laughs> this, this is really cool. This is... Yeah, it's amazing. Less, you know, it's like this is like point zero 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 one zero 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 one percent of the world. We'll get there to see this. I've enjoyed it with you, my friend. It's been glad awesome. Glad we, uh, glad we met up, and that doesn't get much better than that. And we're heading back home by me pressing this button. Three, two, one, here. That's it. Where we go? Buy Challenger D. Adios amigos. Experience. That was a memorable 195. Uh, and it was cool to shine, shine some light on an area that just never sees light, uh, and it was it was amazing. It was such a privilege to be part of this expedition crew family. Having just gotten back from space, I was uncertain how Challenger Deep would live up to that experience and I've got to say that I'll always hold this expedition in the very highest regard equal to going to space. Why? Because being one of the first 20 people to see the bottom of that trench and the life forms that we saw down there, I mean those are likely the same life forms that live on other planets or celestial moons. 195 was life changing one experience that I will never, ever forget.